everybody. I want to talk to you about medicinal. I'm, food is medicine. That's the big thing. We're trying to get uh, all of us to realize that what we eat, you know, it's either medicine or it's really not good for us. And what I'm making today, oops, let me turn this down, is potato leek soup. So, hold on. You know how, how people eat um, chicken soup when they're, when they're sick? And really, it's not a great idea. That's just one of these old, old myths, you know, because it's animal fat, which is, you know, not going to be good for you. Whereas a simple, simple potato leek soup. The skin, like I have steamed these, the best way to cook potatoes are to steam them for the medicinal properties. And I left the skin on them, I just washed them. That is antiviral, the skin on potatoes. So that's what you want, you know? And uh, I'm putting, in here are the leeks. So leeks are like just an, uh, the, the onion family. So leeks, onions, scallions, charlottes, all of those are uh, antiviral. And I've got garlic in here. And antibacterial, and so is the garlic. I mean, this is cold and flu stuff and virus stuff. This is the type of soup that you should have if you feel you're coming down with a cold, or you have a cold, or you have a flu, or you, you know, whatever, a virus, whatever. This is medicinal, not a chicken soup with animal fat, and the chicken probably has antibiotics and was practically tortured. <laughs> so this is real medicinal soup. So I just sauteed the uh, garlic and the leeks here nicely. And beforehand, like I've mentioned before, your broth, instead of buying boxes of vegan broth or vegetarian broth, the simplest thing in the world to do is to take a piece, and I'll have it in the instructions, of kombu sea vegetable, full of your minerals, which is another thing. This is full of minerals. And um, you put a pot of water, bring it to a boil, put a couple of five inch pieces in, boil it for 10 minutes, you've got your soup broth. And it takes heavy metals like radiation out of your body. This is, like Hippocrates said, the father of medicine. Food is the, your medicine. This is your medicine. It's awesome. And yeah, I get excited about this because it's awesome. So what I did beforehand is I steamed all this and had it ready. So now the steamed potatoes are going to go in. So nice. Skin's on. Everything. That's so nice. And uh, potatoes are so good for your intestinal tract. They literally will pick up bad pathogens and just take them out of your body. Pinworms, things like that. And just take them. Pick them up in your colon. Take them out. Uh, diarrhea, constipation, um, any type of uh, intestinal situation, SIBO. Uh, also, the onions and, and the um, garlic is good for like pneumonias and viral cancers. I mean, if you can have, and you know, I've known people to say, I can't digest onions. It's because they're doing work in your intestines. It's because there's something to be repaired there. Your best bet, these are really two foods to have is to start really slowly, you know, a little bit, little bit, little bit, and build up and let your body repair itself. Now, I put a little bit of sesame oil in there. It's winter time. A big storm's coming, you know, 12 inches. Make the soup. Have the soup ready. So um, I am just going to pour the broth that I made right in here. And what I will do is I, because I like it, I will take this and dice it up, the kombu, and put it in the soup, for sure. Because I like it, it's keeping those minerals in there, but you don't have to. You know, it depends on who you're working with. 
your family, you know. Um, and then I'm going to add, I like thyme, the herb thyme, so I'll put quite a bit of that in because I like it. And then I'm going to just do uh, coriander, some of that there. And when it's done, so I'll just let this, you know, cook up a bit. Potatoes are done, leeks are pretty much done, so this is just a matter of like 10 minutes and it's, it's finished. Now you can either use an old potato masher, you <laughs> remember these? I love this kitchen. I'm living with some friends and I absolutely love this stove. This is amazing. I've never cooked on an amazing stove like this and I'm very grateful for them. And so I cook my times, they cook their times. And it doesn't matter. I'm sometimes like I'll make a salad, special salad. I'll, I'll share it with them. They're meat eaters. I'm vegan, but you know I don't say anything about their food, and it can be done. I mean, Bree's dad didn't eat the food I was making for Bree for three years. He wouldn't eat it, and finally he decided. Well, I was feeding him healthy desserts on the side, but finally he decided to eat our food, and within four months. His cholesterol went down 50 points, felt better than he had. You know, he was just ecstatic on it. So, you just have to, and he could, uh, you know, I let him cook his own food. I didn't make meals for everybody. I made meals for Bri and I, and he was totally capable, I think everybody should learn to cook, of cooking for himself. Uh, so, it wasn't, um, you know, when I met him, he was totally able to cook for himself. Everybody should learn how to cook. It's a, we need to eat. It's our fuel. Uh, about leeks, what I want to tell you about leeks is you cut off the end, the root end, and then with the leek, you have to wash them well. So you can either have a, a pot, like I do, of water in the sink with a, a drop of oregano, the wild 70, 73p oregano from North America, uh, from uh, North American Urban Spice, yeah. And that will clean off anything. But you wash up into it. You get into these leaves and wash up in there and get the dirt out because the dirt gets stuck up in there. And then just slice it and put it in the soup. And then what I will do at the end is I will season with uh, my favorite miso because that's the salt. Um, and either you can, if you're making it for your family, you can just put like probably a couple of tablespoons of miso to taste. Men tend to like the salty, more salty than women. So what I would always do with Brie and I is I would take hers out for a couple of days and put her miso amount in, which was about a quarter of a teaspoon for her. And then I take mine out, which is usually half to a teaspoon. And then depending on who you're living with, you know, you learn how salty they like it. But never ever boil the miso because the wonderful microbes and uh, probiotics in there, they, if you boil them, they're gone. So that's just heated up is the way you do that. Um, so that will be at the very end and I use South River, South River miso, handmade from Massachusetts, awesome company. Uh, I'll put their site, go to their site, watch how they make their miso. They make it the traditional Japanese way. It's just awesome. So, onions, garlic, bring them in to your life as much as possible. I mean, I put three big cloves of garlic minced up in here because I love the garlic. And um, these are foods we take for granted because they're highly, highly medicinal. And I'd really like to, you know, see all of us start to look at our food as the benefits it gives our body. By the way, the potatoes, if you're wondering about where the protein is because it's not like chicken in it, with all that fat and grease, it's just clinging to your digestive tract. Um, it's a, a, potatoes are a high, uh, a similar bowl protein. So you've got your protein in there that's really a similar bowl. If you eat meat, it takes at least 14 hours for it to pass through your body. A soup like this is going to be 90 minutes, you know. So, you know, that, that type of uh, stress on your digestive system where, you know, your immunity is created in this area, if it's 14 hours and you have 
you know, bacon for breakfast, a ham sandwich at lunch, I don't know, beef at supper or chicken or fish, you're never getting your digestion clean. That stuff is just starting to ferment in your colon. You know, so you want to eat and you want foods that are gonna pass beautifully, take out toxins and uh, be set up and give, give your digestive system a break. So this is, uh, I'm looking forward to this soup. Uh, I'll have a picture at the end and what I'll do is um, I'll probably just uh, hand mash it up because I like that, you know, just to make it. Oh, another thing you can do, depending on your family and everything, you could get an organic um, coconut can of uh, coconut cream. You know, it's just the coconut. And you could add that to it if you think they would like it creamier, you know. So that's an option too. I just like it like this. I mean, ideally for me is no oil, just saute it in some water, those garlics and leeks, then add the steamed potatoes and the broth, the spices, miso it at the end, and it's good to go. And you can also use one of those, um, you know those um, uh, soup blenders, you know, that you put right in the pot and it blends it up. You can use that too. Uh, if you want to put it in a blender, let it cool off first before you put it in your blender and, and then do it. But really, you know, this is so easy and it's nice. I like chunks in my soup. So please, um, the leeks, which is the onion family, any form of onion, get, get using it. And garlic, you know, uh, just find a way to put it in something. You know, those are baselines, pr pretty much baseline is the uh, onion, garlic, and celery is uh, a baseline for French cooking. Sort of like that's your base and you build from there. So they're very, very uh, important. I hope you will try this, but I'm on the line of medicinal and this is easy. It's so easy, inexpensive. Some good potatoes, some good leek, hopefully organic leek onion, the kombu I always have, it takes a long time to go through a package of kombu like that. Um, you know, there's no added broth, you know, packages of the broth they sell. I just do that that way. A couple of herbs, easy, easy and inexpensive and something for your whole family to enjoy. So remember the protein, potatoes, assumable. These are antiviral. The skin on potatoes is antiviral. It's very smoothing to your whole body, to your digestive tract. This is really like calming and relaxing. So at the very end, when I have the soup in the bowl, and you'll see in the picture, I always garnish the top of the soup with some raw, either Italian parsley. Uh, this one, I don't, I've run out of Italian parsley, so I'm gonna use some raw, um, uh, cilantro on top. Cilantro takes heavy metals out of your body. Italian parsley is like so alkaline, so good for your body, you know, and uh, there's a way to do this. There's a way that anybody can afford this, eat much better than any canned soup, which are over salted. You can't get that. And plus, when you're cooking for yourself, it's your own energy, you know, your own love, your own caring. Uh, putting this into your body and into your family's body. Thank you again. I hope you've uh, enjoyed this. Until the next time.